What Simone Biles did was the epitome of being a true teammate and competitor. And if a, a Broncos or a Nuggets star had done the same thing, they'd be cheered. We'll talk about why. But first, the CDC has updated its guidance. Masks are back. What a miserable announcement today. The refusal by about half the population to get vaccinated is allowing the Delta variant to run wild. So now CDC is talking about masking up indoors for the vaccinated in about half of Colorado's counties. Marshall Zellinger looks at where and whether our governor still has the power to require masks. The Olympics has the medal count. I've got four color coded flags where gold or yellow is still good. It's just not the best. Colorado, you want to be gold or blue in terms of what the Centers for Disease Control considers low or moderate community transmission of COVID-19. Orange or red indicates substantial or high transmission. Well, here's our version of a metal count. Counties in the good, eight are low, blue, 18 are moderate, gold. For the 38 total counties here that make up the substantial or high areas, the CDC now recommends wearing masks indoors, even for people who are fully vaccinated. Well, where's your county on this list? Take a look at our roster of 64, although I'll make it easier for you. This map makes it easier for you to find where you live or work or hang out. So does this mean people in orange or red counties are going to be required to wear a mask indoors? Not yet. For instance, Larimer County is orange, substantial. In an email, a spokesperson for the health department there said Larimer County takes their guidance from the state health department. If they update their requirements, we will follow suit. So what are the state requirements? Finally getting rid of the health-related emergency executive orders because they are no longer needed. Earlier this month, Democratic Governor Jared Polis ended the statewide public health emergency, but the state health department still has a public health order requiring masks indoors for unvaccinated people, but only at homeless shelters, prisons, jails, and medical settings. Even though the governor ended the state emergency, I found out he can still issue an indoor mask mandate. Then again, so can the director of the state health department or any local county public health department, and they can do it at any time, regardless of what color the CDC gives that county. As for schools, we did a cross check of the metro area today, and so far, no district committed to requiring masks for students. Kyle. 